do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos so friends we know what is osmosis very thoroughly but now we are going to learn a new topic what is reverse osmosis and what are the application that we are using on the daily basis so let us see what is reverse osmosis so friends as you know osmosis means the spontaneous flow of the liquid from lower concentration to higher concentration but now we are going to learn what is reverse osmosis reverse osmosis means if a pressure larger than the osmotic pressure is applied to the solution side so that the pure solvent flows out of the solution through semi permeable membrane due to which the direction of osmosis is reversed it's very much simple to know that and it's very important to know that what is the difference between osmotic pressure and now this is reverse osmosis in osmosis what happens is the liquid flows from lower concentration to higher concentration and it is a spontaneous flow we cannot stop it but to prevent it we are using osmotic pressure so that the extra the solvent that is passing through the semi permeable membrane through lower concentration towards the higher concentration will be stopped so this is the osmotic pressure that we are applying towards the higher concentration side the same pressure we have to apply in higher concentration solution itself but it should be such high that the flow of solvent will be from now from higher concentration to lower concentration in this case we are now reversing the natural process of osmosis and hence the name is reverse osmosis and this is help because of the pressure applied towards the higher concentrated solution so let me give an example and then only you could understand that what is reverse osmosis the main example that i could explain you right now is desalination desalination means to remove or to separate out the water from a liquid or from an aqueous solution which contains high amount of salt so let me give an example of this and then only you could understand what is desalination i have drawn a diagram which is separated by semi permeable membrane a two chambers which are separated by semi permeable membrane the one towards the left side consists of pure water or you can say pure solvent while the right one it consists of sea water and as you know sea water consists of water also as well as salts also so the main process is <coughs> okay sorry so the main process is now as it is a natural phenomenon for osmosis so the pure water which is having a very much low concentration will now flow towards the high concentrated sea water which is osmosis so to prevent the osmosis what we do we apply extra pressure so that the flow of solvent should not be from low concentration to high concentration so osmotic pressure is the one which prevents but now we have to apply extra pressure or more pressure why because this sea water consists of water that can be drink or that can be consumed the only matter which is with the sea water that it consists high concentration of salt which is not consumable by a human so the main process that we could separate out the salt and the pure water so for that purpose we are applying more pressure so as now the solvent which is that is water which is present in the sea water will move towards the pure water and hence the quantity of the pure water will now in this case will increase and the water will flow out so this was done with the help of reverse osmosis and so by that this application is also used in your day to day life as you are using purifiers or aqua purifiers this all works on reverse osmosis and hence you could drink pure water or the water which contains high minerals that are very essential for your body and which 
removes the impurity from the water that are provided to us through the pipes or domestic pipes. So this was the application about reverse osmosis and we have got to know that what is reverse osmosis. So I hope you have liked this concept. So thank you friends for liking this video. I hope you have liked this video and please don't forget to subscribe ekeda.com. Thank you so much.